Come on, let's go. What even is concussion? Doesn't mean anything, mate. Fuck the concussion. Fuck concussion. <laughs> Fuck concussion. What? Three, two, one. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Come on, easy. And again, five, two, strong. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. What even is concussion, ladies and gentlemen? What even is it? I hear you ask. Well, it is something very severe that has affected my life for the past like four months now. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully, these tablets can uh, can do the job. That would be ideal. What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. Today. We're actually off out um, tonight with some of the gym lot. It's kind of like a little little Christmassy outing, shall we say, with just a few of us. Um, so <clears throat> we have the proper party next week, but uh, a few of us are doing something today, so so that shall be nice. Um, drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. We're going to get into basically combining drink with fitness and, and, and social life and balance and all that kind of stuff. Um, I figured today, around Christmas, where people are going to be eating good, drinking good, spending more time with friends and family than they potentially normally would be, um, today's a perfect opportunity to, to film a video like this with myself personally practicing said balance. So, number one thing for me is to stick to your regular diet. I'm having my, my oats, uh, which I do basically every single day. Nothing is going to change um, diet-wise. I'll reduce the calories slightly throughout the day. We'll get into that in a little bit. So. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Drop this video a like if you are excited. Oh, let's get into it. I had no idea, right, how bad, like just how bad that angle was. Um, I watched it back, I watched the clip back um, just after I filmed it. I knew it wasn't going to be great because I just stood you up on here. Couldn't be bothered to set my tripod up. Um, I didn't realise quite how bad that was actually going to be. So apologies for that. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. So, I'm going to eat my oats uh, and we'll get into tip number one from me uh, and we'll get a few people from the gym um, speaking on this topic as well. So, <laughs> let's do it. Before we do that, oh my god it's cold out here. Before we do that, we have to check a couple of meter readings so that I can pay some very rich people, well people who are very rich already, uh, just a little bit more money um, 
but need to discover just how much money um, by getting a meter reading, which is out here. So pray for me and hope that little old Liam hasn't got to pay too much on his own. Okay. Wait, that's the wrong one. Oh God, that's a spider, that's a spider, that's a spider. Okay. All right. What does that mean, you ask? I, I have no idea. But let's find out. Okay. Now all I have to do is send that off to the uh, energy company and they will say, Liam, you owe us £9,000 for the past two months because you've had the heating on 24-7 because it's freezing outside. So, um, tip number uno, numero uno, sorry, I should say. Sorry, <laughs> Spanish is a little bit rusty, you know, uh, from myself is um, train. Train on the day that you're going to go out, train on the day that you are going to consume your alcohol. Um, I actually have an acronym if you've been following me since since uni, I kind of came up with this thing. Um, I call it TREAD, uh, the first of which, well TREAD because it's T-R-E-A-D, right? Um, I'll get to those individual things in just a second, uh, but the first of which is T, train, as in train on the day that you're going to go out, train on the day, burn a few extra calories on the day, which we have done as you guys seen earlier on in the video, train on the day that you guys are actually going to go out. Number two. R, T, R, reduce, as in reduce your calories, reduce your caloric intake throughout the day or potentially the day before or maybe the day after, depends what kind of way you wanna play. It's no biggie really if you're only gonna go on the occasional night out, occasional binge, should we say. Um, if you're only gonna do it every now and then, it's no big of a deal really, it's not that big of a deal, sorry. Especially around Christmas, just life's too short unless you're trying to be Mr. Olympia, sack it off and go for the night out. Like just go, enjoy the time with your friends, enjoy the time with your family. Um, because life is way too short to, to miss out on those kinds of things. It really is like, just don't ever think it and just, just go, you know? Um, so reduce your calories before um, and potentially after, but mainly before. I try and reduce it from carbs primarily. So personally, I actually had 45 grams worth of oats rather than 60. Uh, not a major difference, I know, but it is a third less. It's, you know, I'm not gonna eat that much more. I'm gonna have another meal before I go out, um, another big meal just to kind of line the stomach. Um, but it will be consuming or con con comprising, com what's the word? It will have less calories in it, basically. The third one, you might think is slightly contradicting, but eat, right? And what I mean by that is eat something before you go out and prepare something for when you come back as well. How many times have you finished the night out and gone to a kebab house? How many times have you finished the night out and gone to, I don't know, to, um, get a massive, large 12 inch pizza because you're like, oh yes, I could just demolish that right now. Well, the reality is you could demolish that sober as well, but you don't, do you? Because you know it's a bad idea all the time, right? So yes, I know I just said that it's not that big of a deal because it's only every now and then. Also bear in mind the fact that you don't have to do that. So eat something nutritious, eat something full, uh, filling, sorry, before you go out and prepare something for when you come back. So what I actually have is a meal in the fridge, uh, prep from the gym. Uh, they have these like prep pot things. I just have one of them uh, from a few days ago. Actually, I've just not eaten it yet. I'm gonna have that when I get back rather than have like a pizza or like a, I don't know, massive fish and chips or whatever, you know? Um, so just prepare yourselves. Train, reduce and eat. That's the first three. We'll get to the A and the D a little bit later on. Uh, but first, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna head out and um, enjoy myself. It's gonna be a good one. Fresco, talk to us about balance when it comes to fitness and uh, the gym. Train hard, get wrecked. Never, never party, <laughs> but when you party, Get fucking wrecked. Dean, what's your take on uh, balancing fitness with a social life? Balancing fitness with a social life yeah. is a quite uh, a technical, technically a hard thing to do as the fitness industry is quite a selfish industry. So it's hard to do a bit of both. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, tread is complete. Train, reduce, eat. 
A, which stands for appreciate, as in appreciate the moment, appreciate the time that you are out with your friends, with your family, um, whoever it may be, your loved ones over the Christmas period in particular. Um, appreciate the time with them because you don't know when that time is going to come to an end, you know. Click of the fingers, your entire life could just change. Um, a lot of people do. Um, that's generally speaking how things work. More often than not, you don't know the bad thing that's about to happen and it just happens, you know. So appreciate the time with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones, whoever that may be in your life, appreciate that time. And if that time is not going out for you, if that time is not going out, getting, getting smashed, having a few drinks, um, if that isn't what that kind of thing is for you, then do whatever that thing is um, for you. If it's playing bingo, if it's playing Monopoly, if it's, if it's, I don't know, going and kicking a football around at the park, you know, with you, with your nephew or something like that. Um, do it and appreciate it because you don't know when that time is going to be gone. It's as simple as that. So train, reduce, eat, appreciate and D, damage control. The final one on the list is damage control. And that is what I'm doing right now. Drinking plenty of water, um, flush it all out, flush the alcohol out, try and get a, enough sleep, don't try and get like two hours sleep, I know that happens sometimes after a night out, um, trust me, I know, but try and get as much sleep as you possibly can because that is what's going to help you kind of rest, recover and ready to be ready to go again the next day, you know, um, or the day after, you know how it is sometimes, but drink as much water, um, try and increase your water intake for the next day um, as much as you possibly can purely because it's going to help flush out all the toxins, flush out all the alcohol to um, to be honest with you guys. So um, to put it simply, I'm not going to go into the science, I don't know all the science and the ins and outs of it, but water um, is your friend post um, post night out. Um, what is your friend just in general so that's it ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed this one if you have um drop it a like comment down below subscribe if you're new let me know what you want to see next i've actually put my tree up now so you can you can see that in the next video as well that'll be kind of cool and um yeah you guys have been asking for lifestyle kind of fitness gym night out related stuff you guys know that i do enjoy a, a night out quite a lot to be honest um not all the time but when it comes I do, um, I do like to appreciate the time, shall we say. So thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have enjoyed this one, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Together we will grow. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to drink a little bit more water. And I'll see you in the next one.